I'm Commander Exegius, and today we're going to be looking at the ship prototyping tool Coriolis. This excellent third-party web tool is used to plan out ship builds, allowing you to mix and match all modules and even engineering blueprints to test the viability and statistics of a particular build before attempting it in-game. This is an invaluable resource for all commanders, whether or not you are using engineering. When opening Coriolis, you're presented with the current list of ships and a large grid showing the details and defaults of each ship. Once you select a ship by clicking on its name, you'll be presented with the primary interface, broken into core internals, optional internals, hardpoints and utility mounts, just like in-game outfitting. By clicking on each module or available slot, you'll be presented with a list of appropriate choices. Right-clicking a non-core slot will remove that module. While you can add or modify each individual module, there are some templates that can be used to speed your builds. If you click on the slider icon in the upper right-hand corner of Core Internals, you'll be presented with these various templates. For our example, we'll be building a Chieftain, so we'll choose Combat. You'll see that this will give you a recommended starter build, and while you'll likely change a number of items, it's a great place to start. All sections offer this quick ability, allowing you to fill all slots with the same module. Again, this can be a great way to quickly fill slots, such as adding four shield boosters at once, rather than clicking each slot individually. Once you've added the appropriate modules for your build, we can either move on to engineering blueprints and experimental effects, or to the analysis tools. To add engineering blueprints, simply click the wrench icon in the bottom right hand corner of the module. You'll then be presented with a list of all possible blueprints for that module. As you hover each grade, you'll be shown the changes that blueprint will make, what's needed for that blueprint, and what engineers offer it. Once you've selected your blueprint, you'll then be shown the list of experimental effects, again seeing the changes as you hover the effect. Now that we've chosen our modules and blueprints, we can begin to look at the analysis tools to check the viability and performance of our selections. Starting with the tables at the top of the page, we can see statistics such as cruise and boost speed, jump range, shield and hull strength, total available cargo space, etc. You'll also see two rows dedicated to defenses, both shield and hull, detailing your base strength and resistances. Scrolling down the page, we see additional analysis tools for our power usage and costs, handling characteristics, and offensive and defensive potential. Power and Costs allows us to assign power priorities to each module, ensuring you have enough available power for the build, showing you usage between your hard points, deployed or retracted. Cost is rather simple, showing you the value of each individual module. The Profiles tab will give us performance characteristics of our jump range based on weight, performance in normal space, and damage dealt to an opponent's hull and shields. The Offense tab will detail the damage dealt to opponents on a per-weapon basis, how long their shields will last at various pip levels, and how quickly your weapon capacitor will drain based on your pips. Finally, the Defense tab will show you the specifics of your shields and hull, detailing your effective strengths to each type of attack and how long your armor and shields will hold. Especially useful for shield cell bank builds, as this will factor in your shield cell banks, helping you to fully understand your total shield strength. The Coriolis Shipbuilding Tool is an extremely important resource for all commanders, especially those building engineered combat ships. Something that should be consulted before any outfitting and engineering begins in-game, becoming comfortable with the tool is rather important for commanders new and senior alike. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you have a look at my other content and that you'll join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creator's Roundtable each Friday, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.